Hello, this is TK Tehmina Khan. Today I will explain to you the concept of integration by parts, which is a part of syllabus of A level mathematics P3. It is a third video in connection of the previous two in which I have explained the remaining concept of the syllabus of integration. And you will find the link of those two in the description. So if you want to watch those two, kindly go there and press the link. Okay, so what is integration by parts? Integration by parts is used to integrate the products of two functions. So when we have to find the integration of the function where two functions are multiplying, we apply integration by parts. Sometimes by substitution, so you have to identify which one you will apply. With practice, you figure it out. So let's see here. What actually happens? What is integration by part? So little description, how do we get the formula of integration by parts? From differentiation of two functions u, v, we know that u, v differentiation plus v, u differentiation, we know this. So if we integrate both side, so if we integrate both side with respect to x, what we will get? We will get this, right? So this will become simple u, v, u, v, this will become this, this will become this. We all know this thing because it is the basic thing which we have learned in 11 at maths and then last year in P1 also. So I don't think I need to explain that and then I'm just manipulating it. I'm bringing it to this side and I am getting this as a subject which is here. So now I will use this formula. So this is what is called integration by parts. Okay, so now you see the formula u derivative of v is equals to uv minus v derivative of u. Now what does it mean? It means when you have to integrate a function, uh, integrate a functions, uh, two functions which are multiplying, so to solve them you will take one function as a u, it means which is a differentiated function and the other function as a integrated function. So the two functions in the integration will be taken as u and v derivative. So now the point is how we will choose between the two functions which one is u and which one is the integrated one. Now this choice of u and derivative of v is extremely important between the two functions. Otherwise, otherwise at times you keep solving the question and you never get the answer. So there is a word late. I don't know who made who came up with this idea but it is very helpful for a student so the word late helps a student to figure out which one should be taken as u now what is late l stands for log a for algebra t for trig e for exponential so between the two functions which are given to you in the integration you can see one is trigonometry one is algebra you will come here and see which one is coming first. Is log here? No. Is algebra here? Yes. So algebra will be given the name u. Okay. So this is actually prioritizing the uh, selection of u. Huh. This is better to say. So it will help you to decide which function is given priority to, to be selected as u. So between these two, because trigonometry is coming after a so algebra is coming before so I will give algebra a name u and trigonometry will be called v differentiated uh, integrated right so this is my v prime and this is my u I hope it is clear because the first thing is to select which is your u and which is your v prime because you have to use it in the formula this is your formula so this is your question and this is the formula you have to plug it in the values so I have given a name u to 3x and v prime to cos x considering this help here okay so after that I have differentiated here u 3x will become 3 and v prime is cos it is an integrated function so I will integrate it and integration of cos x is sin x 
So now I will simply plug in these values in this formula. Okay, so I'm substituting u, v, v, u dash, u prime. So now I came up with this. Now this has become very simple. We all know how to integrate this. So I am integrating it and this is what I have gotten at the end. So this is how I have applied integration by part and I have gotten this answer. Now let's see another example. Now this is second example. In this one, I have algebra and log. Now I will go back to the word late. Algebra is, uh, sorry, log is given priority. So I will give log a name u and my v prime will be x cube because late l is given priority over algebra so I have selected u for log so I will differentiate it differentiation of ln x is 1 over x we know it from earlier years and integration of x cube is x power 4 over 4 so now after this I will simply apply it in the formula the values of u v u is here v is here v u differentiation so this into this so I'm applying it in the formula and then see what do I get okay so now I have ended up with integration of x power 3 now this we all know how to integrate so I will integrate it up again and then this is my answer right now let's see the third example here now this third example is also considered as a tricky one most of the time it is the it is the one which is not solved by students they forget actually now this seems just one function so you will write it multiply by one now this will become your algebra because one mean x power into x power zero so it is a polynomial it is an algebra and this is your log so according to the word late um, I will give priority to log so this is my u and one will be my v prime so I will integrate this and I will differentiate this so differentiation is this integration of one is this here I have just explained in case if somebody is not getting how we are getting one into x okay so it's like old stuff okay so after that I have this in this form and I will simply substitute the values in this func uh, formula here. Okay, so I have gotten this simple substitution. You can see it here. This cancels out. Achha, by the way, do not make mistake of multiplying it. Common mistake, children multiply these two. No, this is a multiplier of this whole thing. It will not multiply by this x okay so now after that you will end up here I hope this example is clear and it is very important also now let's see another example now there are two cases in which integration by part is applied twice um, so those two cases are very important and the student should practice those also they should have in mind that these cases can come up so one time integration by part will not help them to integrate it completely so let's see the first case here so again if I see my two uh, functions here and according to the word late first priority to log not present here algebra yes present here so my u is x square and definitely what is left behind is my integrated function v so I will differentiate it and I will integrate it which we all know after that I will apply this in the formula which we have seen how we have gotten it the derivation of it so now I'm simply substituting the values here I hope you are understanding nothing typical okay so now after substitution I have gotten this again the multiplication of two function one is algebra uh, another is exponential so again if I look at the word algebra is given priority over exponential so this is my u so now I will pick up this case only okay and I will apply integration by parts here 
when I will get the answer I will plug it back over here okay so now I'm taking this part here only this part right I'm leaving half behind so I'm applying the formula again here and I have shown here how I have taken the values of u and v prime and then I am substituting it in this formula over here okay so now after substitution I have gotten this now this I will substitute over here okay so this side we have a question so let's see okay so I have substituted the, substituted the value here and then I'm doing simple algebra some children ask usually miss can I leave it here it's okay but it is conventional that you take the common factor out it looks simple and easy and this C which we apply in the indefinite integral you do not need to show in the steps before at the end you can see it, it is perfectly all right no problem at all now let's see the other example in this one we applied integration by part second time and we solve it now let's see the another case which is little different now in this case we have exponential and trigonometric function so if we look at the word late who do you think should be given priority trigonometry over exponential so definitely my u will be sine x okay so now um, same procedure which we have been doing here I've explained quite much in detail in the earlier cases I'm substituting um, substituting the values here and I ended up here now again this is u into v case because two functions are multiplying exponential and trig so I will find out the answer of this again by integration by parts so I'm applying here a little directly by calculating in my mind though I have written here that cos x is my u because of this late trigonometry is given priority so I'm taking cos x as u and v prime as ex and substituting in this formula I have done working in my mind now I have ended up here my god again so do you think I will do integration by parts again now I think you understood that if you integrate or apply integration by parts every time sine will become cos cos will become sine ex will remain same so this will never finish so in this case if you look at this the other side which you were integrating actually you have gotten the same can you notice so in such type of cases you take this integral over here it has minus sign it will become plus and it will become two times of it so this is the way it is handled so now you have this question and two will come down here and this is your answer this is how you solve such question now let's see the last example of definite integration by parts so here I have taken these two functions by the priority given by the word late algebra is given priority over exponential function so my u is x and my v prime is this integrated function is this so I will integrate it and differentiate it I hope you understood and now I'm applying it in the formula so here u is x is my u and this is my v prime okay so I'm substituting the values you can see I'm applying the limits on this applying the limits on here and then very simple integration which all of you already know so now this is the end of the explanation of integration thank you very much for watching the video once again I will request you to please press like and subscribe and bell button if this information was fruitful for you and you think you have learned something from it otherwise of course why would you press the button like anyway so I hope it is fruitful I have tried my level best so in the next video I will explain trapezium rule to you thank you very much please share it with other friends it would be beneficial for them as well